सत्रह साल तक बोडोलैंड में राज करने वाले बीपीएफ चीफ हगरामा मोहिलारी की मुश्किलें बढ़ सकती है नॉर्थ ईस्ट लाइव के चीफ ऑफ ब्यूरो अरिंदम दास के साथ बीटीआर चीफ प्रमोद बोडो की हुई खास वार्ता में उन्होंने कई सनसनी खेज खुलासे किए बीटीआर चीफ प्रमोद बोडो ने कहा कि हगरामा मोहिलारी के सत्रह साल के शासन में आवंटित कुल उन्नीस से बीस करोड़ की राशि में से आधी राशि का सदुपयोग नहीं किया गया प्रमोद बोडो ने दावा किया कि यह आरोप नहीं है बल्कि विकास कार्यों के लिए आवंटित राशियों में धान ली हुई है प्रमोद बोडो ने कहा कि नए परिषद के गठन के बाद ऑडिट में विभिन्न विभागों में राशियों की हेरा फेरी सामने आई है वे सीबीआई व अन्य एजेंसियों से इसकी जांच की सिफारिश करेंगे सुनिए खास बातचीत इन सेवेंटीन इयर्स ऑफ द प्रीवियस रिजम ऑफ बोडोलैंड पीपुल्स फ्रंट लेड बाई ऑनरेबल हग्रामा मोहिलारी दे हेड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लोट ऑफ थिंग्स इन द काउंसिल एरिया but uh, they enjoyed uh, for 17 years enjoyed the power they, they didn't focus in any one of the uh, critical you know the issues and problems that's why whenever we uh, you know come in power in the bodoland in 2020 uh, you know the december after coming to uh, power uh, we uh, you know the final find a white paper of uh, different department how they function how they work what the fund position and that at the time we found there is uh, uh, around uh, 3000 crore uh, liabilities of the council and we went thoroughly and we studied we, and also we did an audit and then we find uh, there are huge liabilities in pwd department one department was there wpt department uh, in cd fund and other departments also and now uh, after audit we found that uh, Uh, more than you know like um, 80% of the uh, liabilities are fake they issued administrative approval without any fund uh, some fund they got from package uh, central package and they diverted the fund to other head and they use it for uh, supply of some unnecessary materials and uh, you know they corrupt the money then uh, there is liabilities so we are going to uh, you know the close all these liabilities so it coming down uh, you know that it's uh, coming down to 600 crore uh, which was uh, you know like uh, around 3000 crore 2900 crore liabilities so uh, this were you know the happening in previous council now uh, we are trying to uh, uh, make the governance system very effective and you know uh, very uh, you know good and positive uh and uh, people's friendly governance uh in that case for last one year we tried hard uh, you know to uh, reform the governance systems so can we say that uh, rampant corruption took place during hagrama mohilari's regime that's an allegation and uh, if it did happen in tune of how much crores Uh, that's happened uh, that's that was not allegation that happened if the government uh, you know the din sense uh, in 2020 uh, they could uh, you know uh, this at this time they could release all the fund which are you know that not executed in the ground so there is huge uh, you know the supply supply orders supply of mosquito net supply of umbrella supply of you know the uh, spray masons that's in huge in number which is not required so that kind of orders are there and in uh, pwd department and other department also uh, some of the contractors drawn the uh, you know uh, the uh, bills without you know the uh, executing the project as mentioned in the uh, estimate so what can you estimate the corruption took place in the tune of how many crores Uh, that's already we have uh, you know the, uh, did the audit of uh, 1800 crore and we found 1200 crore is the fake they issued uh, uh, 1200 crore order uh, without any scheme without any fund so that was totally fake uh, if uh, they continue the in the power they they would uh, you know the release the fund from any head they uh, would find the you know the uh, get the fund from central or state uh, just telling a false that we have executed this we have done this done that and they should uh, they would uh, release the fund though it was it, it would go to you know the 
like uh, in vain any any not go to anywhere where in the positive development or any kind of development all together 2000 uh, 20000 to 19000 to 20000 crore fund uh, were released for uh, borderland development and if you go through uh, and if you make a audit of the activities uh, audit of the you know the development you will find that more than 50% uh, fund were misused वहीं प्रमोद बोड़ो ने एनडीएपी नेता तथा 30 अक्टूबर के सिलसिलेवार बम धमाकों के दोषी रंजन दैमारी को लेकर भी बड़ी बात कही बीटीआर चीफ प्रमोद बोड़ो ने कहा कि यहां के लोग रंजन दैमारी को फिर से खुले आसमान के नीचे देखना चाहते हैं इस खास बातचीत में प्रमोद बोड़ो ने कहा कि रंजन दैमारी का परिवार गुवाहाटी हाईकोर्ट के फैसले को चुनौती देने के लिए सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाएगा the life sentence has been upheld by the court so what do you have to say about this verdict judiciary you know the can uh, cannot be interfered by you know other uh, agencies or other institutions so uh, uh, from our side we want that uh, he should be free uh, he should be released and his punishment should be you know uh, uh, stop uh, as soon as possible but um, nobody can interfere with judiciary law take its own course that's why uh, we have uh, you know uh, we have uh, belief on uh, our law system and other side uh, we uh, we wish that uh, uh, the leader who signed in the peace accord uh, should release by any way uh, from uh, you know the, his punishment whatever he did earlier at the time of you know the moment uh, that should be uh, forgive uh, as there is peace and uh, he has also you know the became the part of the uh, peace process uh, greater interest of the society and the country so there should be some way uh, we, way we should uh, find out the way uh, and uh, i have seen that our honorable cm is very positive so uh, we are hopeful our people are hopeful that today or someday uh, within short period of time uh, some positive uh, you know the result will come so as you are saying some way should be out uh, so are you planning to move supreme court against the uh, high court verdict yes it is already decided by uh, his family and uh, our organization social organizations going to support you know the in the process so uh, it will depend on honorable supreme court that uh, how the case you know the uh, been decided by the judges and at the time of you know the hearing of the supreme court in the supreme court so when are you planning to move supreme court uh, it's already decided by the family and they have already moved and they i think they have already made some of the uh, supreme court advocates also so uh, from our organizations uh, they have already discussed with the family members and uh, i i think that they will uh, move very soon